Ordeal in Otherware by Andre Norton presents a rich tapestry of adventure, identity, and the struggle against both external and internal forces. Set in a science fiction universe that Norton meticulously crafts, the narrative follows the protagonist, a young man named The Wanderer, who embarks on a journey through alternate realities and realms. This quest becomes not only a physical adventure but also a deeply personal exploration of self-discovery, responsibility, and the moral implications of power. The central theme of the novel revolves around the idea of transformation, both literal and metaphorical. The Wanderer, thrust into the enigmatic and often treacherous landscapes of otherware, is forced to confront not only the dangers posed by alien beings in unfamiliar environments but also his own sense of self. This duality is encapsulated in his encounters with various entities and civilizations, each presenting unique challenges that reflect his inner conflicts. As he navigates these realms, he grapples with questions about his identity, his place in the universe, and the ethical dimensions of his choices. Norton's world-building is one of the standout features of Ordeal in Otherware. She creates a vivid and immersive setting filled with intricate details that evoke both wonder and trepidation. The alien landscapes and societies are not merely backdrops but active participants in the narrative, shaping the experiences of the characters and influencing their decisions. This emphasis on environment serves to heighten the sense of danger and uncertainty, compelling the wanderer to adapt and evolve in response to his surroundings. As he faces trials that test his courage and intellect, the reader is drawn into the tension between the familiar and the alien highlighting the theme of adaptability as a means of survival. Moreover, Norton delves into the complexities of power dynamics throughout the story. The Wanderer's journey leads him to encounter individuals and groups wielding significant influence, prompting reflections on the nature of authority and its impact on the individual. The various factions he encounters embody different aspects of power, whether it be authoritarian control, communal cooperation, or individual autonomy. Through these interactions, Norton raises pertinent questions about the moral responsibilities that come with power. The wanderer's choices, often fraught with consequences, illuminate the fine line between heroism and villainy, underscoring the notion that the path to empowerment is fraught with moral ambiguity. Norton also emphasizes the importance of relationships in shaping the protagonist's journey. The interactions between the wanderer and the characters he meets, be they allies, adversaries, or neutral parties, provide crucial insights into his character development. Each relationship adds depth to the narrative, revealing facets of the wanderer's personality that might otherwise remain obscured. These connections are instrumental in guiding his evolution, as they challenge him to consider the perspectives of others and the potential ramifications of his actions. Through the lens of these relationships, Norton showcases the interconnectedness of individuals within a larger cosmic tapestry, reinforcing the idea that no journey is undertaken in isolation. The novel's structure complements its themes, employing a narrative style that balances action with introspection. Norton skillfully weaves together moments of intense conflict with quieter, reflective passages that allow for character development and philosophical exploration. This blend of pacing keeps the reader engaged while simultaneously inviting contemplation about the broader implications of the wanderer's experiences. The tension builds as the story unfolds, leading to a climax that not only resolves the immediate conflicts but also leaves the reader pondering the implications of the journey undertaken. Ultimately, Ordeal in Otherware stands as a testament to Andre Norton's prowess in blending science fiction with profound thematic exploration. Through the wanderer's journey, readers are invited to reflect on their own identities, the nature of power, and the significance of our choices in shaping our destinies. The novel serves as a reminder that the quest for self-discovery is often fraught with trials, but it is within these challenges that one finds the opportunity for growth and transformation. In a world that is as vast and unpredictable as the cosmos itself, Norton's narrative resonates with the enduring human quest for meaning and connection.